tonight a focus on what's being done to make a positive difference during a difficult time. Dini? In this special report, breaking the silence on suicide, a look at the Golden Gate Club and how some simple acts of kindness can go a long way. Jolynn Ward isn't your average hall monitor. I just feel like I'm a hall mom. I am a mom in the halls, and the kids just started calling me Mama Jo. As she roamed the halls at Bingham High School, she saw a need. I looked for the kids who were sitting in the corners and sitting alone. If you don't have a friend group, as soon as you get into high school, you're kind of just scrambling. She started the Golden Gate Club in 2016, a pro-social group encouraging students to reach out to others. He says, Smile at strangers, and you might just change a life. They invite new friends to sit at the Golden Gate lunch table. Okay, guys, have a seat at our lunch table. And make a pledge to be a true friend. I will walk up to students who do not appear to have social support, and I will get to know them. Now the club reaches beyond the halls of Bingham High. Hi! <laughs> you guys, make room! Ryan Cherry, a student at Harriman High School, was looking for answers to help students at his own school. He saw Bingham High's success and caught on. Yeah, so how many kids have joined at Harriman um, now? Yeah, 144. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan says when he started high school, he didn't have many friends and began to be bullied. Was I going to transfer over to Bingham because of the problem, or was I just going to face them head on and try and bring this to Harriman? He decided to stay to help his classmates, who were experiencing the same thing he went through. Seeing me um, reach out to other students to help them, to make them feel welcome, to invite them to sit with me at lunch and to have a conversation with them. Bingham's Golden Gate Club president, Savannah Souter, showed Ryan the ropes. After attending their meeting and submitting the paperwork, Ryan says the club will be official at Harriman High next fall. It doesn't matter that we're in like different schools, but we're just like one big family. Get over here and give me a mom and Jill a hug. The Golden Clay Club is now in six Utah schools with more than 2,000 students who have taken that pledge. Parents and teachers as far away as Japan are also trying to implement the club into their schools. To learn more, visit goldengatemovement.org. That is an awesome club.